Welcome back to the channel. This is Lady Nico. And with y'all be asking me all the time, you know, for a while now to tell y'all about some stories that, you know, y'all liked it. So before I go to bed, that's why I got the bunny on. I was able to give y'all Hollywood Divas tonight. And um uh, I'm finna give y'all a story. <laughs> Child, this shit, here's a trip. Um I'ma say this here. Be careful of the groups that you jump in when they be people be putting you in these Facebook groups. Know what you getting involved in. I can't find my little thing I was looking for. But I'm where I find it when I get through recording it. Well, y'all, this this comes from last summer. I was jumped into, and I say jumped into, because people don't really just ask you no question. They just, you see on your timeline or in your notifications, you've been added to a damn group. So, last year, I got put in a group. Well, backstory. Y'all know I was with the same person, my you know, four years, or 17 years. If you add it all up, it really would be more like 19, close to 20. But... For 17 years legally, we were, you know, together or whatnot. And um, so when I, you know, I've only been a single lady for eight years. So I don't know a whole lot about these new sins and stuff like that. Last time, you know, I was out there in the single people world. Uh, it still wasn't accepted for a man to a black man to admit that he eat the twat now y'all for y'all just in case it's a child under age 18 watching me right now because i'm finding out that young people fucks with me too i'm gonna ask that you go on on and cut off this video baby because this gonna get the ain't no telling how i'm gonna be to tell this story i told y'all this shit ain't scripted come straight off top of the door and i can't always control my damn mouth y'all know my mouth terrible and i don't make no apologies for it i said what i said but <laughs> if you young or you squeamish one of them women that oh she shouldn't say that kind of shit that's my lady like get the hell on off this video baby because this this one gonna go in and i don't want you mad at me so let me give you a minute to go on and go while I get all the stuff I need to be fabulous, took care of, and lit up. Mm-hmm. Giving y'all a good time to go on, click off, find you another video that of mine that you like, or, you know, exit the channel. I don't want you mad. I didn't give you enough time. Okay. So, like I said, I don't know nothing about some of these new sayings for people that do strange things and, you know, sexually and stuff. So, I was put in this group, right? And I'm like, okay, see, this is the problem. And my kids be telling me this shit a lot, too. They be like, Mom, you too fucking friendly. Well, I'm friendly because it has proven to be quite beneficial for me in the past and I'm a people type of person. I, I don't know, I guess I'm a part of a small percentage of people who just really like dealing with other people. People don't just make me sick all the time, y'all. That them hoes make me sick a lot, but not all the time. But I put in this group and you know, I I, I saw some of the stuff that was posted. But I also remember in I, when I read the description of the group, it did say that, it, you know, it would have a lot of adult content. So, you know, I'm not sitting here. If I don't have the pictures of the men's, you know, penises, let me, let me try to find. Now, nah, I ain't finna try to find none of it is what it is. The niggas, dicks, and the hoes, pussies just didn't fascinate me. So, I ain't going to comments and look and see what the content was all about, why they put it up on the wall. I just assumed that that's what they do in this group. Well, I don't do that. What I was doing was I was putting, you know, like memes up and questions to get people stirred up. I'm more of a mental stimulating type of woman. A pole, it take a minute before you'll see something. But I had you all, child, I had you stiff as a boy waiting on me. But, um, by the things I could say, because I like to mentally fuck people sometimes. Especially men. Because they always trying to mentally fuck us. So I fucked them first. But, yeah, I got put in this group, you know. And 
the minute I, I had never, I've been in there two weeks, I had never put my picture up, and that's part of what you do. So one of the admins had hit me up and was like, could you, you know, we see you participate now. Would you please introduce yourself to the group? You know, we did an introduction, but we didn't take any of your pictures and put it up. So I had put a picture of me up, and, you know, I, I said some shit. I don't know what the fuck I said, but it wasn't much. I know it had my name, the state I live in, you know, and that I was single. Child, that thing hadn't said just posted before my inbox. Well, that little thing where you the people find friends and people request you. It's I sat there and watched that thing go from I already had like five of them in there, but Charlie went all the way up to 25. 26. It was 26 friend requests and most of them from the dudes that was in that group. So I didn't accept nothing right away. I started talking to people and Oh, about a week later, a couple of the dudes I had got pretty cool with, so I went ahead and accepted them. And one in particular was a guy who hit me up all the time. I'm talking about once I, you know, the group was full of people from upstate, like, you know, Massachusetts, uh, um, Baltimore, Maryland. They, they was up in that area and shit like that. It was a very few of us down here in the South. South meaning like uh, uh, Alabama, Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, stuff like that. So it was only about like maybe seven of us. So of course we gonna try to, for the most part, try to get to know each other because they be having meet and greets for the people that's upstate, but they don't really have that many downstate because most of the people from the southern states don't be participating participating and trying to see if we can get people, you know, in the group to agree to uh, having a, a big shindig or whatnot, you know, whatever you want to call the shit. Child, why my lighter keep tripping? I ain't going to do this without my lighter. I show up. I ain't got to get up in the middle. No, I ain't got to. It's good. Okay, well, met this one in particular, and just so happened, this motherfucker live in the same city, and so we exchanged number, you know. He called me, you know, he would call me in the morning for as he getting ready for work, as I'm getting ready for work, whatever, you know. He'll call and talk to your girl and shit. And he would send me little text messages. Sometimes he'll send me little poems or something that, you know, cute shit. I'm interested in you type shit, okay? So I was like, okay. Well, he had finally, after a few weeks, said to me, now we're going into a month three now. He finally says to me, you know, I know you got your own business and, you know, I've been there, but when I go in there and get food and stuff, you usually not there. So, um, I want to know if it was possible that maybe me and you could sit down at the bar and maybe have a conversation. I'll buy you drinks. And I'm still thinking to myself, you going to put the money back in my pocket, but okay, cool. I'm not very good on letting people just come around me like that. Because I'm very protective of that. That's that's my livelihood and that's attached to my family, my children. So I don't really just that's why you don't see me putting nothing up on my Facebook about it. I have a separate Facebook page for it and I have done extensive advertising, but I do it where I need to do it at and it works for me. I don't just let everybody in like that because that's my baby for real and I nut the fuck up. You do anything or come around there with any fool of fuck cool nigga trip forest rocks type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Jalen, I'm doing a video. Hold on, y'all. What Jay? Tell your mama come cut it back on again for you if you wanna look at it again. Sean, come help him. I'm doing a video. Shit. Oh, see what? Oh. That says it took me all the way out of my damn game. Just that fast. Hold on, y'all. Let me get it back. Okay, well, the motherfucker wanted to meet up at the, at, at the, uh, at the bar area and, and have a couple drinks. I said, okay, then. Well, he didn't show up. Okay, so when he didn't show up, I didn't get mad about it because I really wasn't in the mood no way. I was kind of tired because it had been a busy day, and I wanted to just really go home and lay the fuck down. Well, I ain't go the fuck home and lay the fuck down. I wound up having that to stay closed and help, and I'm glad he wasn't there because I wouldn't have really been able to get him no time because my bread over anything, you know what I'm saying? So... He sent me pictures showing me that he was in the emergency room with his son and everything. His son fell off his bicycle or whatever and banged himself up and tooth went through his, you know, just a whole bunch of shit, child. Baby, poor baby scarred himself up. 
So, <coughs> I ain't got a problem with you being at the doctor's office with your son come. I mean, in the emergency room with your son come. That's actually a good look. That let me know that you that type of man. So, I'm good with you. That really worked in your favor, opposed to not working for you. A child, this motherfucker... Two weeks later, we make these same plans, and he shows up. And child, I come up out of there because I, w- I had really just got there like an hour or, s- or so before he actually showed up because I was off that day. I just ain't tell his ass. But he got there, and uh, see, I'm, I'm, I'm finna get mad. I'm finna get all kinds of fucking mad because I got to have my prop, okay? Okay, well, the motherfucker shows up, and, you know, he ain't catfish me or nothing shit like that. You know, he looked at you like he said he looked and shit. Everything was good. So, we decided to start, you know, going out. Started off real good, y'all. It wasn't nothing but, uh, like, wait a minute. I got hell some in my ear, too, with this earplug. Okay, well... We started out going play like to the club, out to the movie, stuff like that. He used to want to go eat at my rest, you know, in my place. But I'd be like, damn, I, you know, I, I like going other places. You know what I'm saying? I want to dress up, put my night clothes on, go somewhere. So we did. We started doing that. Now, keep in mind, we still participate in this in this group and stuff. And I don't, you know, I'm thinking it's just a adult group, and that's all. You know, I imagine people probably do hook up, but they don't come back and talk. Well, y'all, it came up on a time where uh, the group decided they were going to have a meeting in Gulfport, Mississippi. I'm like, I ain't going there, you know, because I, I talk to a lot of people from upstate but in the group, but I ain't just, you know, I don't know that I just want to meet you or nothing. I mean, we could chit-chat on Facebook, but that's about all we need to be doing. Am I right about it? But he wanted to go. So I was like, okay, then, cool. It was on a weekend, a Saturday night, so hell, let's ride on down there. Because Gulfport ain't really far from uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. It ain't nothing but like a couple hours, so. It's like really going to New Orleans and coming on back. <laughs> but now, uh, we get to the party now, okay? Now, he ain't tried me none of this time before. Yeah, he gave me compliments, let me know he liked me and all that shit. We ain't did no land. We done did a little t- Philly touch play type of shit, uh, borderline hunch type shit, okay? Well, we get to the party, you know, he like, when you go in here, you know, um, feel free to do whatever it is that you want to do. Just know I'm not going to feel no certain way about it. We still cool. We came together. We'll be together. Even though that kind of shocked me, I was like, mm, I wonder why he said that. But anyway, I get ready to go on, on up in the live in and stuff. I get there, I get to meeting people, you know, folks up around my neck, niggas hugging on me extra tight and shit. Talking about how good I smell. One nigga was smelling my hair. Child, all kinds of crazy shit be going on at them damn kickbacks they be having down there in the in, in at this group party thing. Well, First thing that caught my eye was we went to a hotel suite. But it's not uncommon that people have little events. And they are, sometimes they have, I've gone to places where they having a little get together. And it do be a, a hotel room that they might have booked two or three of them and, and people just party. So I'm not tripping. And I, these people coming from out of town. So it really don't seem like it's nothing wrong with it, right? Wrong. Girl, I get to this motherfucking room. I told you motherfuckers, men's is coming all up on me. Child women start coming up on me. And I, you know, I'm like, damn, these some ass up. These, I'm from the South. Why these bitches more friendly than me? You know, because I don't be all on a person like that. Do you? I'm going to do me and we're going to all be all right. Okay? That's how they go with me. Well, child, <laughs> I noticed in my peripheral, <laughs> there are several bowls. Of condoms everywhere. Drinks are being tossed up everywhere. Blunts is being smoked everywhere. So, but the music good. So, I right, then shit. You know, I take me a little seat in the corner somewhere, and I'm sitting there. I ain't gonna lie, I was smoking, drinking, and cussing. 
you know, and, and hanging out with the older cats in the group because they pretty much come. But it appears that unless a woman really a uh, uh, come for them, they don't really approach a woman about what go on at these parties. They just come for the entertainment of it all. OK, so I'm over there with the old heads. I'm running and shit and somebody done broke out some dominoes. Oh, hell, I'm all in. Then, child, I done throw the domino bone down. I done got the paper out of my period talking about I taste go and shit. I'm ready to have a good time. Meanwhile, I ain't paying attention to what's going on on the side of me because now I turn. I'm facing this table. I'm getting down on these bones with these men. Child, some say turn around and look. I turn around and look, and the dude I came with had to lay some girl down that's in the groove, busting her wide open, giving her, as Rock say, face in the place. In front of all of us, y'all, it had to be been about 35 to 40 people that actually showed up. Then I noticed not only is that going on, I look over to the next corner and you got a girl sucking a nigga dick. Then you got a couple in the bathroom fucking. I mean, it's just like the more alcohol and the more blunts was consumed, the freaky this shit got. So I'm sitting here, I'm trying, now I'm uncomfortable as fuck. I can't even talk shit and play bones like I want to. Because I'm trying to figure out how did I get here. Because I ain't supposed to be here. <laughs> this couple came up to me because I stopped playing. I really was uncomfortable, y'all. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very friendly, but sometimes I can be bougie, and I ain't jumped in bougie mode. I'm sitting in the corner now, like, you know, clutching my pearls and my fucking purse. I'm ready to go, because this ain't for me. What if I got myself involved in Child, I'm sitting there. Here come this girl and her. I knew they was a couple, right? So, because we seen they both in the group. They sitting there talking to me and stuff. And I was like, I did not know that lifestyle meant this. And she was like, yeah, this lifestyle. She said me and him been into the lifestyle for about five years. So, what you saying is, you and your husband frequently invite men and women into this equation and it, it's okay when y'all come to these parties and she busted wide open for somebody she gonna be all right you gonna be all right and if if vice versa she doing a dude you don't go home feeling no certain kind of way now nah, we just like to do that then we got a little friend on the side but she moved i was like oh okay well i ain't know that this was the type of club you know part of group this was I'm, I'm very uncomfortable here right now and had i drove my damn self i probably would have had chunk deuces see that's why i always keep my vehicle i learned that from that that experience right there child i'm thinking we just talking and they trying to make me feel better next thing i know he says to me well we got a separate room okay that's good because that's what i said it was like, well, do you want to come down to our room? Maybe you'll feel a little bit more comfortable. What I need to be more comfortable for? What 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 are you asking me? So basically, y'all, the motherfuckers was trying to get me down there and, you know, I guess initiate because they say from Texas, so they right by me. They talking about they wanted to, you know, replace me with the girl that they previously had that had to move down. She telling me how, you know, because she had friended me on Facebook and I went ahead and accepted her. She telling me about how she want to motherfucking lay up with me and all this shit and how she went through my pictures and she just imagined. And she kept saying, um, what did she kept saying? She kept saying kiwi melon. And I kept saying, what you mean? She's like, I can just imagine that pussy taste like kiwi melon. Girl, I faded to black. Now, for those of y'all know me, when I say I fade to black, that means I done fucked up some shit. Child, for I know that I felt so fucking disrespected. You know what I'm saying? Because even at these parties, if someone shows you they're not interested, you shouldn't keep harassing them. Leave them alone and let them make their great escape however the fuck they going to do it. But this bitch is persistent. I don't know if her man put her up to it or what. But she was the one that was persistent about study trying to get at me to the point where I wind up pushing his hole and she fell across the bed okay because when i say no i mean no i've told him no i'm sitting there i'm so uncomfortable yeah i'm so nervous i'm drinking and not realizing i'm getting drunk off some motherfucking alcohol okay i done got drunk but i ain't lost 
sight of what's going on around me. I'm just getting drunk and trying to loosen myself up because I really want to tell these motherfuckers I don't appreciate being hoodwinked into this situation because y'all knew by the way I talk on it in that group and things I said I had no idea that this was goes on. Well, she think I'm semi, I'm just all the way a lush and drunk. <sighs> I'm sitting at the table, you know, lights done been dim because it's about 15 couples. I ain't saying they go together, but they, they done coupled up and they is in there going at it, baby. They, they, all you smell is marijuana, alcohol, pussy, dick, and booty. Bootussy. Okay. She done, I noticed I kept feeling something. I thought something was crawling on me, y'all. It wasn't nothing crawling on me. This bitch got a feather. And she is snaking it up my motherfucking leg. I realized what she was doing. I said, I'm tell you one more motherfucking time. And I mean, at this point, I'm loud now. I done got ghetto. If you fucking touch me again, I'm going to beat your motherfucking ass. And I got up and got ready to go. I told him, when you get through getting your dick sucked, uh, don't look for me. Because I'll get my own ride back to the house. So, everybody like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? They trying to keep me from leaving this shit. I get my shit and I'm headed to the door. She grabbed my arm. And before I know that, I took this hand here and mushed that bitch in her fucking face. And when I mushed her in her motherfucking face, the bitch flipped over the bed. Don't play with me. Now, I don't like the fact that I done been hood into coming into this raggedy son of a bitch with this... Ooh, child, it was 50 shades of pussy dick and, and ass going on up in there. I mean, you don't bring nobody to no fucking shit like that when you know they don't even know what's going on. And even the admins knew that I wasn't quite certain. They say they had disgusted and thought about approaching me, but they figured, like, since I was talking to John Doe, I was probably already been put up on what the situation was. No, I ain't know nothing about what the fucking situation was. And even if I did, when I got here, if I don't show you that I'm I'm interested don't fucking bother me because i'm a stupid hoe and i fight you is not gonna violate me in here i don't want no parts of it and don't get me wrong for those of you who may be watching this internet that is fine for you it's just not okay for me i don't spread my motherfucking legs to the fucking moon i don't do that not for multiple motherfucking people Got me fucked all the way up. Child, I went to walk out that goddamn room. That bitch touched me. I mushed her across her motherfucking head. That bitch flipped across that bed. I hit that door. You got about five, six niggas down there half dressed coming behind me. Tell me, come here. Come here. Let me talk to you. No, bitch, you only talk about me. You only talk to me about nothing. I'm going to ask y'all real nice just to fucking leave me alone. Okay, bitches can't want to come try to talk to me and shit. Well, this one dude, big dude, I never did take to him in the group either. He was there too, but wasn't nobody want to fuck with him apparently because he ain't getting no play at all well he gonna come out there and i hear him say ain't no way in here that old bitch ain't know what time it was first of all you ham sandwich eating son of a bitch you triple ham sandwich eating son of a bitch i ain't got the lot of fake i ain't got a fake the funk about nothing either i'm a freaky bitch or i'm not a freaky bitch and when it comes to coupling up and doubling up i ain't no freaky bitch and if you don't like the fact that i didn't want to have nothing to do with your motherfucking fat ass either then you can kiss all the crack of my black ass and you can do that right now because i don't need and my name ain't bitch you know very well what my fucking name is how many times you've been in the inbox big and to talk to me and i started talking to you giving you you know them passive ass quick answers like i don't want to deal with you and then i leave you in the inbox when you don't seem to want to leave me the fuck alone but don't try to catch no attitude you big ham sandwich eating son of a bitch because i ain't got no problem with cussing you the fuck out and if you make me mad i'm gonna go in my fucking purse and i'm gonna shut this motherfucker down child my cab came Needless to say, I paid over a hundred dollars to get back home. Cause I don't play that motherfucking shit. Don't put your fucking paws on me and don't try to bring nothing into my life that I don't want to be in, okay? I don't knock nobody in what they do. The problem stems in comes in when you try to bring that to my life. Child, that was one of the worst experiences. And I learned then to ask fucking questions when they be adding me to these groups and peep the scene and I don't go to nothing. I don't give a fuck. It could be a cooking goddamn group. Bitch, I might get naked. I ain't going to shit. Okay? Anyhow, y'all, that was all I wanted to share with y'all ass before I go to bed. Uh, in the meantime, in between time, please like, comment, subscribe. 
this time I see y'all Friday or Saturday. I'm free. I ain't, I ain't making no damn video. I'm just try, I'm spoiling, you know. Now I, I'm back, but now y'all never get enough for me on a Wednesday night. Look at me trying to climb and get the people what they like. All right, now go ahead on, Nika. Yeah. Anyway, y'all. See y'all later.